You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. On Tuesday, March 21st, the Pike County Retired Teachers Association hosted a health fair at the Pike County Library. This is the second year the event has taken place, and the goal is to expand regionally in the future. Mountaintop News spoke with the Kentucky Retired Teachers Association Executive Director Tim Abrams to learn more. The Pike County Retired Teachers Association here in Pike County consists of teachers who retired from the Pike County School System and Pikeville School System, and uh, they're holding a health fair today. And uh, at this health fair are vendors from their health insurance, uh, their dental insurance, uh, they can get their blood pressure taken here today, have their hearing checked here today, uh, check on long-term care insurance, a lot of opportunities for them. I think we all know re retired teachers did so much in the classroom and meant so much to, to our communities and are still very engaged in their communities, whether they're substituting, serving on school boards, civic organization, and this is just one way that we can recognize those folks today. The health fair also gave an opportunity to osteopathic students attending UPike to further their studies by working with the elderly in person. The focus of study for today was on osteopathic manipulative treatment. So the Kentucky College of Osteopathic Medicine students are, are here to help provide some screenings for uh, treatment for osteopathic manipulative treatment, which is where we can try to help the body to feel better, uh, help alleviate some pain, um, and that's what we're doing here today with about 40 of our medical students. This is an opportunity for the students to get out and be able to put their hands on real patients who have problems rather than just on each other as they're practicing so they can hone their skills and be able to identify things that might be able to be treated and also provide the service to the community at the same time. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.